Good morning, America. Good morning, Europe. Good evening, India. Uh, it is my pleasure to welcome you all to this webinar on the AIB dashboard. So, uh, my name is Vinay Saraswat and I look after the global sales for AIB, that is Active Intelligence Visualization. No. Uh, it's a product of AIB Hub, which is a UK based company having headquarters at uh, Reading. Uh, near Berkshire and we have a technical center in India. Today in this webinar we are going to cover the dashboard part of the AIV. So uh, let's begin with the presentation first. Mm, the, I hope uh, my screen is visible to all of you. So AIV the insights your business data transform your data to insights which means that with the help of AIV, you can uh, get the insights from your business data, which will help you to take the management decision, business decision, also at the department level decisions. So this is the agenda that we are going to cover today. So I have already introduced myself. We'll cover the overview and the features about the product. We'll um, give you the brief about the company, and then we can go for the dashboard demo and followed by uh, queries and the next steps. So AIB is a complete self-service BI uh, which fulfills all sort of your BI requirements right from your dashboard, analytics, visualization and reporting. Uh, we recently went through the rebranding from AIS to AIB. Earlier it was known as AIS, Active Intelligence Server. So getting insights to your data through AIV is just three steps away, that is connect, create, and convey. So what it says, you can connect with any of your data, uh, desired data source, it can be JDBC, XML, flat files, or anything. Once it is there, you can start building your own dashboards, reports, and visual libraries. And you can easily convert them to the different output formats like JPEG, XLS, PDF, dashboard, and which can be accessed through any of the smart devices. So AIV uh, offers flexibility from deployment to the accessibility. It can be deployed on premise or on end user cloud server. Since it's a web-based application, it supports all the modern browsers and also the data accessibility can be controlled at the user role and departmental level. So uh, you can restrict the data access and the data privacy can be maintained over here. It comes with a flexible architecture. Uh, so with self-service BI, any non-technical user can also uh, create their dashboard without the use of uh, any query. They can sim uh, simply use the user interface and they can uh, design their dashboard to the drag and drop. It also supports open source technologies in terms of our reporting. So this is one of the USP that we are carrying is we support open source reporting tools such as BERT, JasperSoft, and Pentaho. So these are the most widely used reporting tools. <coughs> you name any banking sector, BFSA sector, or uh, manufacturing industry, they are using this globally. These are some of the high level features of AIV. So uh, with the self-service BI, you can create your own dashboards uh, and perform the analytics within that. It's easy to uh, deploy your pixel perfect reports and automate your reporting through scheduling. You can schedule your reports and automate them. And also you can share and export the reports to the various output formats. With the single sign-on, it's uh, easy to integrate with your third-party application and to remove the hurdles of multiple login attempts. You can use the single login and uh, you can access the AIV component along with your uh, third-party applications. You can even embed the AIV to your web application through one-click embed and your embed-ready code is available which can be pasted to your web source file and embed is ready. With this new version of AIV version 4, uh, we have introduced uh, 
R and Python support, which enables you to perform the predictive modeling and machine learning as well. This is how we started. So we released our first version in 2016 uh, with a uh, good response from 100 plus users in more than 10 countries. In 2017, we made it commercial uh, and we released a version 2 where we got 900 plus community users with more than 42 countries and C++ partners. In 2018, um, we started Indian operations and we did, uh, released version 3 where we got 3500 plus users and in more than 105 countries with the help of nearly 24 Java partners. Recently we released our version 4 uh, which supports machine learning artificial intelligence which can help you to do the sales forecast or business forecast using R, Python or Craft queries. <coughs> AIB is one of the fastest growing VA solution in the world. This has been rated by one of the American analysts. Since it's uh, completely responsive, uh, you can access it through any of the smart devices. We have been uh, rated five star and we have received various awards from the various organizations such as Finances Online, Software Suggest, Greater Enterprise Award. <coughs> These are a few of the partners to ensure that our customers get a uh, seamless service globally. Few of the customers listed, not all, but few of the customers like SUPB uh, from Europe. We have customers from Europe, US, UK, India, Australia, Hong Kong, Manila, uh, Germany, Middle East. This is a, a simple architecture diagram to uh, help you to understand that how AIV works. When I say that you can connect with any other data source, it can be uh, Apache Spark, it can be any IoT data as well. It can be Hadoop, MongoDB, Flatfile. You can perform the predictive analysis on your IoT data. You can start building your own dashboards, reports. You can automate them. Also, you can connect with your Active Directory. In case if you're using Active Directory, you can even directly import all the row user rows from AD. You can even convey the reports into the various output formats. It can be in form of report or it can be in form of dashboard. We can further export it to EPD, Word, Excel, JSON, ESO file. <coughs> so this ensures that you cover the entire business of, uh, department right from your financial, your production, development, business data, Manufacturing data, logistics, supply chain, and everything. So uh, let's jump onto the demo that will cover the dashboard. So this is the login screen for AIV. <coughs> it's a complete web page, you can see, and this screen can be customized with your own branding and uh, logo. Let's log in with the admin account. This is a simple dashboard built for the financial analysis. Here we can see the total expense against the total income, which is further distributed into uh, four categories, EBITDA, staff costs, overheads, and procurement. This chart gives me the monthly uh, breakdown for expenses, EBITDA, and it's which I can again uh, it's a completely interactive dashboard. I can even uh, download the underlying data into JSON, CSU, or Excel format. I can take the server printout of this chart, or I can even download this chart into various format, right from email format to PDF. Here comes the uh, bar distribution where we can see the maximum contribution is by the staff cost in the expenses. So, like if I click on this cost, my entire dashboard will be at with the staff cost. If I click on the overhead, you can see the entire dashboard gets updated. Let's clear out this filter. So this is the detailed expense table where I can use the internal filters. Like if I want to see the only overheads, purchases, 
of course figure out let's select all you can even change the order as well ascending descending here you can even annotate your markings as well so like if you see that those the list value over here you can just mark it download this into png and you can share it with your colleagues as well so then for example give me the report on this and send in case if the receiver is a non aib user you can even email this to them just like you are doing with your email server So here you do not have to leave the application and do the email. You can do this from the uh, application itself. So you get the uh, one-stop solution for everything. Now, <coughs> to add more functionality to this table, let's move on to the new tab called Dynamic Table. So you can see uh, within one single dashboard, we can have the multiple tabs. Now you can see that we have. Um, collaborated in uh, this expense analysis in a group wise so if i click on the provider purchase it will give me the entire purchase details if i go to a uh, sub cost i can get the drill down analysis of the sub cost i can even adjust my columns now let's get some insights on slide let me create a line chart now let's add one more chart here this time I want to analyze only these two data. <coughs> so I can resize as per my requirement. Now let's add the value aggregator to this. Find the average. I can find the maximum value. I can find the minimum value. Let's go back to the sum. I can even download this chart or I can change the format. So let's say, for example, I wish to change the uh, layout of this from line to column or to bar or to donut. I can do that on fly. So everything is possible on fly. To give you more granular level of analysis, we have a call a uh, pivot where you can see we have further distributed this into the overhead purchases and staff cost, which is again uh, divided into monthly uh, details. So for August 2018, overhead was 18,660. If I click on this, I will have the detailed report of 2018, August 2018, which can be further exported to CSV file format. Till now, what we used to do on, in a chart, we uh, we were just able to do the grouping at Y series. But now you can also group this data at X series as well. You can see this is 2016. Here you can see the 2017 data, and here you can see the 2018 data. So you get the view on the same 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 chart. You get the view for all 16, 17, and 18. Now to have more drill down analysis, let's go to this chart. Here I have the sales distribution uh, pro uh, product line wise. If I would like to see the classic curves, let's click on classic curves, which will take me to the uh, country, -wise, uh, country wise distribution. I can see the US is giving maximum. Let's see what is happening in US which will take me to the further year distribution. And I can see the 16, 17, and 18 data. Now, I would like to analyze uh, what happened in 2017. I'll click on this, and will take me to the monthly analysis, which I can further download into a PDF. 
I can download the underlying data, print out or annotate. Let's go back to the classic card again from here. So I can even download this chart, entire dashboard. I can even crop this dashboard and get the image of this dashboard ready. So this is uh, this more or like a screenshot which takes uh, image file of uh, your dashboard. You can see this. Now let's see uh, how it can be done. I will take you that how we can create a dashboard. So this is a blank canvas where I have a list of various components available with me. So here is the tables, here is the chart, maps, reports. I can embed my reports directly on my dashboard and I can access them through my dashboard. No need to go to my reporting section. I have various KPIs, custom visualization which allows you to uh, implement third party visual libraries including D3JS, high charts, fusion charts, geo charts or you can even integrate uh, social media applications as well. Here you can add image and text, see vote, report management to uh, give you the detailed analysis on your uh, report person. So uh, that, uh, use case where you have re uh, report bursting like in bank where the daily uh, sh report sharing is in thousands or lakhs of reports are being shared on a daily basis. You can use the report management and easily track those reports. OLAP to give you more granular level of information using MDX queries. Notebook uh, which allows you to do uh, uh, import the Python or R script and you can have the output directly on your dashboard. I will show you how it can be done. Form Builder, this is again one of the USB that we are having is the Form Builder. So in traditional BI, uh, generally BI pulls the data, it doesn't push the data. Whereas AIB allows you to push the data to your uh, database. So like, if you click on the Form Builder, you can create your own form. You can also act, uh, this AIB can also act as a CRM when the data is uh, taken from the user input. And you can see the live, uh, Data, uh, live analysis of the new uh, user input data. The dynamic view which will allow you to change the uh, look of the component. So on the click of chart you can get the table and on the click of table you can again get a, a KPI. This is a layer concept so you can add multiple layers to the same dashboard alerts. So as it justifies, like you can have set the various alerts on the particular event, which will trigger the report automatically to the assigned users. This is a scratch pad, so which is again a USB. So now uh, earlier it used to happen like you can, um, in case if you have added one of the component and you wish to add those component to a uh, different dashboard itself, you can add them to scratch pad. So those component can be accessed university. Now let's create one table. Let's make it as a sales table. Select the data set. I want to use the sales. And out of this, either I can select all or I can remove it from here. Now I can select the country. Now I want to see the product line, extended price, product name, year and month. Save and exit. And you can see when, uh, whenever I'm clicking on any of the columns, it shows me in preview as well. I can get the live preview of the data. 
let's auto size all the column to adjust into my view I can resize I can reposition this I can even apply the filters I haven't created filters yet this is the inbuilt component uh, feature of this table now let's create a chart click on a chart name it as a sales chart again select the data set category access can be product line arguments can be extended price and I would like to see the sum of that save and exit ok my chart is ready so it's completely self service uh, anyone uh, who is non technical can also um, create their dashboards on fly now also let's add um, KPI I want to see total sales <coughs> here uh, I would like to use the extended price and let's add the sum so this will give me the total sales so far go to the preview so I just remember to save your work every time uh, you move to the new dashboard or go to the preview here is my preview now let's see what happens when I click on vintage car this figure and this figure also gets updated let's click on planes So without creating filter, I'm get, uh, getting my data filtered on a click event. Now I want to see the sales for the Norway. Okay, wow. US, Spain, France. So it's a completely interactive dashboard. So all the widgets which I'm creating, they are capable of communicating with each other. So I do not have to create a separate filter or linking between them. There is an auto linking in that. Let's add one uh, map as well. So here I can add one map. Go to maps. I want to use the word with India and use the data set for sales. The location ID could be the country code. So, in case in your data set, if you do not have the country code or region code, you can simply click on this. It will generate the code for uh, your region, which can then be uh, you can save this code and you can use it in your data set. Here's the link to download. You can download it for your reference. So here I'll use it, and I would like to see the total sales in region-wise. Again, let's go back to preview. <coughs> so 
So you can see, now I have a table, I have a KPI, I have a map and I have a chart. Now let's see what happens if I click on Germany over here. This chart gets updated with the Germany data. This KPI will get updated with the total sales of Germany and this will show me only Germany. Now what if I would like to click on this US? Again this will get updated. Let's click on US. Now you will see this is showing you only US data. I can further zoom in. This way I can have world map, I can have country map, I can have continent map. <coughs> let's clear out the filters. Now let's add more functionality to our chart. Let's see how we can uh, create drill down analysis within your charts. Go to edit. You just need to do simple one change. Go to hierarchy. Now I can create my own story over here. So what I want to say is when I click on product line, it should take me to the country. And when I click on country, it should show me the yearly distribution followed by monthly distribution. Name it as Group. Add hierarchy. Go back to your chart. Mm -hmm. Small changes over here. Select the sales drill. Now save and exit. The premium mode. So you can see, if I click on classic curve, it will take me to the uh, detailed country distribution way. Let's click on the page. It will take me to the yearly distribution. Again, if, um, click, if click on uh, seven days. So now I am doing the uh, sales distribution for classing cars in Spain for the year of 2017 for this various months. Or Python script 
onto your dashboard directly. So it will help the data scientists and business users. <coughs> Let's clear out this filter again and go back to edit. Now let's create one more widget dashboard. Create it. Now again let's go back to scratch pad. Now you can see that I have added that map to the regional uh, scratch pad. Click on this. I got map here. I got my map. I do not have to recreate it. I can easily uh, add it from my add it from my cart. So, like Scratchpad, you can consider Scratchpad as your cart in which you can put the items which can be accessed anytime. <coughs> Here you can create the pivot analysis. In pivot, you have the two options. One is the table map or heat map. So let's select the heat map and data set again sales. Now I would wish to see um, country in rows, whereas product line to be in columns. And the output should be the sum of, or the sum, let's say, the count of quant quantity order. Sum of quantity order. Save and exit. I can delete this. Now save and go back to the preview mode. Now I can identify, easily identify that in classic cars, US is performing best and uh, at country level I can say that yes, uh, US is giving maximum in classic cars followed by vintage cars. And this is the total aggregation uh, for each and every product line and as well as country. I clicked on this and this will give me the figure of uh, USA classic car sales. I can download this to CSV. Also, not limited to this, you will notice that there is a client uh, option called client script in each and every component. If I click on this client script, I have the ability to add uh, queries or my own scripts for particular components. So I don't have to uh, go back to my da uh, data set or my database and make changes to them. I can get those changes uh, specifically for my components. So it supports uh, SQL, D3JS, and JavaScript. So this will give you a sample code that is how to you can write your queries. <coughs> you can perform all your beautification or uh, what are the change, look and feel changes from the state settings section. You can even embed this. Let's click on embed. And here you have the two options. Either you want this to be embed for the infinite time or you want to set the validity. If you click on the validity, it will ask you to the set the validity. Let's go back to infinite time and generate the embed link. So here I have three options. One is internal embed. Second is external embed and third is the embed code. 
So if you wish to embed this to your web application, just need to click on this copy and paste it to your web source file and your embed is ready. So you don't have to be dependent on any APIs or SDKs. So this is the uh, part that we have covered today for dashboard section. In next uh, webinar, we will be covering our reporting section, how you can see your reports and uh, customize your reports and schedule them to automate your reporting. If you wish to uh, evaluate this, uh, you can simply click on the computer this download. <clears throat> you can get your own copy which is available for uh, 30 days free trial. Just by filling the simple form, you will be able to get your If I'll click on download, this is a uh, simple uh, system requirement, a basic system requirement which you need to fulfill then you can just simply click on the download and you will get your co copy downloaded. Also we have a page called wiki which will help enable you to uh, learn your by your own. It's a complete knowledge base where you will find the technical videos, uh, help documents, uh, AIV learning of various releases. So in case if you are having any doubt in visualization, click on visualization. Uh, if you have doubt in dashboard, click on dashboard and you will get the details for the dashboard. If you would like to see how you can create a dashboard, you can click on this and you will get the complete details. We also have a YouTube channel called Active Intelligence Visualization to which you can uh, subscribe where we uh, update our videos regularly. Or in case if you have any um, query related to uh, the product, you can uh, even write us at sales at aibhub.com. So we'll be happy to uh, assist you right from installation to build your POC. We have our help documents available, AIB Wiki, uh, we have our YouTube channel. You can access them and you can explore the tools as well. So uh, thank you everyone. I will see you uh, soon in uh, our next webinar on uh, reporting.